Hi there folks, well, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I've come back into the Lothians and I've actually stopped off at the Dalkeith Palace and Country Park, which isn't really that far from Edinburgh. So we have uh, Dalkeith Palace, which in Scotland would be referred to as the Big House. And we've got the surrounding estate, which is the Country Park. Uh, I'm sure there is a website, so I will like that into, into the description bar below, along with the channel's TikTok account, PayPal account and coffee.com page. And yeah, so I'm going to wait until this wee squally uh, rain shower passes by and head on out. Uh, again, this is the first time I've actually been to this country park, so this should be interesting. Uh, even though we're still in January, it looks like a really nice place to go for a wee wander, a wee explore, and just be surrounded by nature. And yeah, so should be a good day. Hopefully, it shouldn't be too wet. Because I think there are, whatever rain there is going to be, just going to be squally and we should pass really quickly. So I'm going to just grab my things in a minute and head on out. So this is where I am today. I, got, I did actually pass the palace on the way up to the car park, so we'll have to try and get down to that at some point. And just to let you know, if you are taking your car in here and you're parking up, it's a £3 uh, fee to park your car in the car park. And it's a paper card, so just bear that in mind. So I'm going to head down this way. Yeah, we idea of some of the things you can you can see why you hit while you're in this thing. It's a bit blowy today. So but the sun's out, that's the main thing. So pedestrians go down this way. They do have quite an impressive play area. It does have to be booked and Prices. That's over there. See, that's where he is here. Oh, this is the restoration yard. So we've got a cafe and a restaurant, shop, food hall. It's old stable building, I think. Yeah, it is. Uh, so I've just come out of the, orange, the <coughs> restoration yard, which is that building there. And I've got the orange tree right in front of me, which is that one there. And that is stunning. Yeah, I think it's closed off to the public just now. We've even just seen it from the outside, that, that's just really pretty. And they have a go ape uh, assault course here as well. If you're feeling a bit more adventurous. Yeah, I think I've got a wee bit lost. Uh, I did try and go across the bridge thinking I could get to the big house for there, but uh, there's only access for the estate vehicles, I think, or for the, the go ape vehicles. So I've came back across the bridge. There's this little track that goes along the side of the river uh, and through the, the old oak wood, which is a 
site of special scientific interest. Uh, it's a triple SI. So I'm going to go along this way and try to see if I can find my way to dunk it uh, to the, the palace from here. Uh, hopefully I do find it. And I think that's part of the fun is getting a wee bit lost and finding things that you probably wouldn't have found otherwise. Yeah, still haven't been able to find the house yet. So I think I'll have to go down and talk to the person in uh, the booth where I paid for the parking. Trying to see if I can get me in the right direction. I just thought that if I had a like, sign, uh, more signage up, same where the house is. But I'm sure I'll find it. Yeah, I end up speaking to someone. They were coming in. Uh, they were walking their dog. And I asked them was it how to get to the house. And then the park line is just there. Uh, Heads back the way I drove in, uh, and there should be little paths that take you over to the house itself. So, yeah, finally going in the right direction. Yeah, I can just see the roof of it now, and all the chimneys. I did see it in the way coming in, just could not figure out how to actually walk to it. Yeah, the dry of uh, winter in Scotland. Uh, so even though the sun's out and dry, the wind just keeps picking up. So I've had to get the microphone out, uh, so you can actually hear what I'm saying. But finally got to the house, right there behind me. So I'm going to head on down, have a wee closer look at it, and have a wee wander around. We have a closer look. Definitely very Georgian. You can see all the park club that surrounds it. And the house itself is up on this ridge. Quite exposed up in this wee ridge. So this would be the front entrance to Dalkeith Palace. And this would have been the centre of the, the old Dalkeith estate, which is now the country park. Yeah, so the palace itself, which is obviously right behind me, isn't open like for the public just to, to walk in and visit. Uh, but again, just seeing it outside of it and getting it to explore the grounds as well are just stunning and there's, there's, there is just so much of the grounds to explore as well and uh, the house itself is uh, quite close to the entrance to the estate uh, that's right in the town centre of Dalkeith or I'm pretty sure it is because I'm pretty sure the, the town entrance for the estate is up just up the, the, the path there so maybe we know he's up there at some point but definitely a stunning place and I don't think it's something that many people really know about especially if you are out exploring like Edinburgh or having a wee adventure around the Lothians definitely get, get yourself to come and visit Dalkeith yeah just wander around the back of the house that we know that the view around here so you do see it across to the, the woodland. And the wee view down to the river and the bridge. I think there's uh, trails and paths uh, down along the river as well. But that itself is just quite a pretty little view. Yeah, I just spotted this sign as I was walking out. To the, the exit to the town itself, and it's saying the Dalkeith Palace, 
is used by the University of Wisconsin. Didn't realise that any of the, the US universities had a presence here in Scotland. You learn something new every day. So I'm guessing this would have been the church that would have serviced the estate. So it's St Mary's, it's also known as the Church of the Park. Well, that's the back of the car from my wee adventure around Dalkeith uh, Country Park. And yeah, it's a stunning place. Just one of those places that is just, even though we're still in the grips of winter right now, while I'm filming this, it's just such a beautiful place to wander around, ha have a walk, a wee explore, a wee adventure, and just get out into the fresh air. Okay, it was a bit blustery today, but blowy. But then again, it is Scotland, so you've got to take that into account. And we're not always going to have the beautiful, perfect weather. So you've just got to be sensible, have a jacket, have sensible shoes on, and you can just make a nice day of it. And the fact that they do have a really nice little cafe, a really nice uh, restaurant as well. They've got the wee shops as well. Quite high end, so do bear that in mind. But again, really nice. Uh, the products, the, the things they sell, the foods, really nice. Definitely worth having a wee sit down and get something to eat while, while you're, you're wandering around. So definitely somewhere that I would recommend coming and visiting. Spend some time in, especially if you're over on the East Coast, if you're in Edinburgh, in the Lothians. Definitely get yourself to Dalkeith Palace and Country Park. Hopefully you will all have enjoyed this video. I've definitely enjoyed being here filming it and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.